Hey guys, my name is Jonah Battle, and today I'll be talking about the behavior of a plateau fence lizard, and this is what you can expect in the wild of their behavior and in captivity. Basically, what they do during the day, um, how much you can, uh, how much you can interact with them, and stuff like that. So this is part of a video series where I'm talking about the plateau fence lizard and kind of observing it for yourself. So you don't necessarily need to watch this video, but it, this talks about handle ability as well. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into this. Okay guys, so here I'm gonna be catching her out and hopefully not letting her escape, which is something I am worried about. So I'm just gonna try to get her Normally she'll end up crawling up my arm. So here I have her. I'm gonna have to grab her like this. And then do not pull them by the tail because they can very much drop their tail. But here you can see her. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is handle ability. Now, like I was kind of trying to say earlier, is I'm only gonna be keeping this for two weeks and this lizard. And the whole kind of purpose of this video series is if you want to observe the lizards that are around your house, uh, if you live in Arizona or the Western United States or you know Southern United States, but like Southwest United States, there is plateau fence lizards and other types of fence lizards, and this pretty much covers them all because they're pretty, they're very similar. So that's basically this. That's what this series is for. So you can keep them properly even if you're just keeping them for a little while. I wouldn't recommend keeping them for a long time because I don't really like when people take animals out of the wild. Now, here's a female um, plateau fence lizard, and I'm currently holding her because I know that she'd run away, and I'm outside, and I'm kind of scared that I'd lose her because I have to finish this video. She is, I'm not, she's kind of all right with this. So they are, they're kind of bolty. Here, I'm gonna focus the camera down on her. So they can be pretty bolty when it comes to handling, but they can also be pretty chill. Um, normally, like if I handle them inside, then I'm not, then I'll hold her down. Like right now, I'm not like squeezing her, but I'm just making sure she's not gonna run away really. So like if she jumped onto the table and then jumped off, then I, she's pretty much gone. They run really quickly. So I don't really want to um, provoke her or anything. But here she is just kind of chilling here. And that's normally what they'll do. Sometimes I'll set them on my shoulder and they'll just kind of chill there. Um, they're, they're, I've met captive um, born lizards that are worse than this. So handleability isn't really a problem and it's kind of good for like a little kid or somebody that's afraid because it's just gonna sit there. I mean, it might run like you saw uh, a second ago, like they can be pretty bolty but most of the time they're just gonna kind of sit there and basically bask on your hand or whatever. And also, one of the other things you can do is hand feed them. I've only been able to do that with mealworms. They, they seem to like, or superworms. They seem to like superworms or mealworms, but I can't get them to eat grasshoppers on my hand for some reason. And that's pretty much it for handle ability. They're really not, they're not too, um, bad or anything but again they can like sprint away and they can climb on you a lot like normally what she'll do is if I stick my hand in to grab her she'll end up climbing up my arm um, to get away from my hand I guess so there's that then other behaviors is I normally see them basking so this is kind of like in the wild not really early in the morning and not midday but actually in between those two so kind of when it's not too hot yet is when I'll see them basking now if you go into like a forest that's like partly shaded then normally you'll be able to find them even when it's really hot out because um, they'll kind of be you know there's like when there's like some like lays rays of light that shine through like the trees and that's normally what they'll be basking and that's kind of what I, where I've been able to find them midday and then in the enclosure normally at night time then they'll be in a hide so you need to make sure you have like a proper hide for them which i talked about in the housing video and then during the day they'll be out basking and uh and or hiding most like i said basking during a certain time of the day um but maybe in captivity they probably 
would bask clo closer to all day because it wouldn't get as hot. You wouldn't let it get as hot in captivity. So that's pretty much it for this video. Here she is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this was helpful. If it was, also these guys are like completely harmless. I'm also doing a video about that being bitten by one. They, d they It does nothing really and uh, it doesn't even hurt very much at all. I've, I believe my, my crested gecko probably hurts more than this and crested geckos do not bite hard if you've ever gotten bit by a crested gecko. So I hope you found this interesting and I hope that you like this video and if you do like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you're more content then subscribe have a fantastic day and i hope to see you in the next video